My name is Solomon Opio, and I lead the technology community at uh, the Innovation Village. I'm going to tell you a story that will help you understand why we need innovation hubs, and also explain my passion for helping entrepreneurs in this country. And I say my country because I love Uganda. I went to the university and did a course, software engineering. And I remember our first, first days, it should be the first week at the university, one of the lecturers came and asked, after doing your course, software engineering, what do you think you will do? I was in a class of about 140 students. All of us had different answers. We gave our, we gave what we thought we would do after completing the four-year course at the university. At the end of the day, he did not explain to us, he did not tell us what we would end up doing. So we started doing a course. You, we finished first year, second year, and having complaints of, okay, why am I doing this course unit? Why am I doing the other? And that was all over, because we did not understand. And we were the first lot of software engineering students in Makerere University. A time came when we were meant to do our projects. And a lecturer tells you, from numbers one to five, you're going to be in the first group. Numbers six to 10, you're going to be in the next group. Without helping us understand what skill set we would need in these groups. After joining, after, after completing a four year course, just before that, we had to do a five year project. And I remember one, one thing we did we were so excited about this, about this project we are doing. Um, we are looking at a project in embedded systems and trying to solve a problem of solid waste. So it was a solid waste management system. We were very sure that this would work, but it did not work. I have gone to several places, universities, and several hackathons and events where I find the same kind of system being developed. But it just can't work. It can't get to the market. Getting into Outbox Technology Hub, that was my first place of work. Outbox is a technology hub. We have several other hubs. So at my first place of work, that is when I started to understand that it is just, it is more than what we would expect. It is more than what we shall see in, in a classroom, have a lecturer come, teach us, and at the end of the day, go. So I keep telling, students and other innovators that a lecturer is not going to spoon feed you. Let's look at opportunities presented by these hubs. When I joined Outbox Technology Hub, I realized that there is more into skilling, there is more into mentorship and job opportunities that these hubs create. When I left Outbox Technology Hub, I continued to support community 
under an initiative I started called the Binary Garage. We have had opportunities of supporting several innovators through hackathons and several others. I had an opportunity to change Uganda. I was still limited. That's when I joined the Innovation Village. I want to, be, I, I want to look at all these aspects one at a time. Looking at skilling, mentorship, and job opportunities that were created. While the focus has been on central, central Uganda, and that is Kampala and the neighbors, we noted that actually we have only 2% of developers in the upcountry locations. Whereas in Kampala, we are looking at 83.4%. That is from a survey that was done by Andela in 2019. So one, let's look at skilling. While we come from the universities and think that we are going to come out there and get jobs and have everything that we need. There is, there is what we lack. And the innovation hubs will give you, will bridge that gap between you and the industry, between a student and the industry. People have come out of the universities and they cannot afford to find jobs. You will hear of people who have come out and three years down the road, they are still looking for a job. I remember a story of a person who jumped from some house just because he went to find, to find a job. He was called for a job that he thought he would get, but he had spent five years without getting a job. When you talk about skilling, that means the innovation hubs will help us with the industry skills. What we have at the universities may be more of the theory. We are not saying the universities are not doing anything good. But they cannot do everything. They cannot spoon feed you and just give you a job at the same time. When it comes to mentorship, when I joined the Innovation Village, I found one of the, one of the participants who had come as a mentor. He told me that, Solomon, I attended a hackathon that was run by you about three years ago. And that hackathon gave me several ideas and it made me who I am today. These are things we may not see in the universities or anywhere else. When about 10 years ago, you may not, you may not it would take you time to hear about a hackathon. The first hackathon that happened in, in Uganda and Kampala was called Garage 40, 48. And that one opened ideas, it opened several opportunities and several ideas for innovators to come up with startups. These are things we get in, uh, in these programs. The innovation hubs help us access mentors and people who are able to move with us and shape our future in the field 
of entrepreneurship and also helping us access the market. I'll give another example. At a point in time, we had students from Muni University based in Arua. They reached out to me and told me, Solomon, because you lead the Google Cloud developer community for Kampala, I would, I would like you to come and give us a session, an introduction to Google Cloud, then we can continue from there. I told him, my brother, I have worked with students and I know that I will leave Kampala, come to your university, give you this content, we teach you introduction to cloud, but it will stop there. Because you don't, they may not have access to resources or they are not driven to get to a point where they can do things on their own. I told him, what I'm going to do is to come and take you through a design session. You have the solutions, the DSC solutions challenge. And at the end of this year, you're expected to come up with solutions and the competition is going to be global. So let's come and refine what solutions you are working on, what you have come up with, and then that is going to be value for the time I am spending to come all the way from Kampala to Arua. I will see value for my time. We had a all day session, and guess what? These guys emerged the winners of the DSC solution challenge globally. So in that year, we had the best coming from Uganda. Let's look at job opportunities. I will roll to what the mandate of the innovation village looks like. Let's dive into this and see. We have so many so many institutions, so many, everyone is doing skilling. We have said we are giving industry, industry skills to developers and innovators and all that, but how many are getting jobs? Then we say, let's focus on finding the jobs for the innovators. Which university is going to give you uh, an opportunity? I mean, they're just going to throw jobs to you. So at the Innovation Village, we said, that is going to be our focus. And when we focus on that, it means when we see that we have those who are not skilled and cannot have the opportunities, we look at skilling them with a specific direction to enable them acquire these jobs. And one of the things we are doing at the moment for, for the software development um, community is that we are now doing profiling to make sure we find jobs for these developers. We want to be that one place that every company runs to to get developers, and that means we are availing opportunities for these developers to find the jobs they need. Not only that, we want these technologists to come up with innovations and employ themselves. So when it comes to the passion that we can have in this field, I can tell you that we can work together to make the Uganda that we need. Let us embrace the innovation hubs. If you have not been to one, visit one. And just see. When I left the university, I did not know 
There are places like this. These are all avenues that we can use to access knowledge, mentorship, and job opportunities. One last one. This is going to be an encouragement. We have seen several, several people who come to learn, acquire knowledge, and all they need is to learn. There is one thing that they forget. While we are learning, we need to share opportunities. We, we need to share the knowledge that we have received with the community. I always tell people that when I get to a place where I need a developer to run a session, it's going to be very hard for me to give money to this facilitator. Because we want to develop a culture where we give to communities. Someone will tell you, it's value for my time. This is time I'm using. But then if you've passed through the community, then you should be able to give back to community. Because while you give back to community, then you are learning. So the other thing that we do is encourage people to share what they have learned online. You never know who is looking at what you're doing. Several people have done, several people have run sessions and what they do, at the end of the day, someone is calling out, I saw ABCD and I need that person. And this is how we get opportunities and begin working for companies, not only in Uganda, but outside this country. These are opportunities that we also have because of sharing what we are doing. So I encourage all of us to embrace all these places, the innovation hubs. If you do not know about any of them, start looking right now. You can contact me and let's build a better Uganda together. With this, I would like to say thank you.